Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how I made this ASCII art uh, compositor setup in Blender and just give a little showcase of how it works. So uh, here we have it in Blender. This is just the node setup and we have the pixel size and the ASCII generator uh, node group. And as you can see, I have the compositor always enabled. So yeah, this is what it looks like in the uh, viewport right now. It's a little bit glitchy. I don't know why it's so blocky. I think it has to do with um, how the compositor just works in Blender, where it takes just this view instead of your entire view. But if I hit render, you'll see that it just converts it uh, normally. But yeah, let's just take a look at this ASCII generator. Uh, this pixel size is really annoying because it doesn't have an input, so I cannot put it in here. So it doesn't really look that clean, but yeah, you can change the amount of pixels um, or just the size of the, of the ASCII characters with this pixel size here. I also want to mention that in the viewport, it looks like um, sometimes the characters are cut off, but in the final result, as you can see right here, that never happens because I made sure that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, the, the viewport is just a little bit uh, messed up, but it looks great in the render. So yeah, in here you can just change the text color and the background, and that's pretty much it. You don't really need much more, but if we go inside of this node group setup, you will see how I have set it up. So all of these nodes right here, make sure that every character is assigned to a, a particular value on the image. So if I just zoom in on one of them, you can see a greater than and less than. So pretty much as if the value of um, this image right here is between zero or 1.25 and everywhere where it's white, you will see a specific character. In this case, that would be a dot. And then you just do that for everything up until uh, you reach one. And then over here, we have all of our images. So I have a dot, I have a minus, I have an equal sign, a plus sign, star, hash, percentage, and an add symbol. And all of these get um, just scaled and scaled again and then translated to the right place until they fit in the grid. And then they are multiplied together with their masks and then all of those masks can add it up and anti-aliasing and that's about it. So it's pretty simple. It just looks a little complicated because I've repeated a bunch of steps, but yeah, we can do this pretty easily um, in just a few steps. All right, so let's just create this setup in a new Blender file and I'll walk you through every single step. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just uh, switch to cycles and then GPU. And also just make sure under performance to set your compositor to GPU. That just makes it a little bit quicker. And yeah, that's about it uh, that you're going to need for this right now. I'd also recommend setting the background to black just so you have a nice contrast, but you don't really have to do this, it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's make a compositor right here and also turn on compositing always, use nodes. All right, so anything that we do uh, right here will reflect in the viewport, so that's really nice. All right, so yeah, this is the image that we input, but we need to get the values from this to determine uh, what characters we're going to be using. But we cannot do that for every single pixel because if we just make a mask of like this input image, right here uh, with the values, then uh, it might very well be that some characters are going to be cut off horizontally or whatever other way uh, you can think of. Uh, so that's not what we want. So we're going to need to pixelate it. So we get just blocks of color. For the pixelate, we have a pixel size and this pixel size just determines um, yeah, how big these blocks are depending on like our resolution. So we are working with 1920 by 1080 right now. So that would mean a, a pixel size of 108 would mean 10 blocks if this was fully rendered in uh, 1080p. All right, so if I hit render, we can just count all of the blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So yeah, that's right. Uh, that's just diagnosis of what, what this actually means. But yeah, pixel size 108 means uh, 10 blocks horizontally. And then, yeah, if we just divide this by 108, um, that means 18 blocks um, horizontally. This is still pretty big, so I'm just going to divide it by 2, which means uh, 20 blocks. So yeah, just keep it in mind for now, 45 pixel size means uh, 20 blocks vertically. What we're going to need now is images of the characters that we want to be using in our ASCII code. I'll leave a zip file with all of the characters that I'm going to be using right now on my Patreon probably. 
so I'll leave a link in the description. But yeah, you just need images of those characters because you can't really input characters into the compositor, which would be a really good feature, but yeah, it just isn't here right now. So I'll just drag them in right now. I have eight images, so they're right here. I'll just put them over here. I can preview them. So there's an add symbol, there's a dot, uh, the things I showed you in the beginning. And let's just organize them on like intensity where we want them. So we're going to need to do a lot of image manipulation to this. All right, so first of all, we need to make this uh, like a complete alpha image. Uh, it probably already is, but it wouldn't hurt to just set alpha uh, with the image in the alpha right here because this is a PNG image. So we can do that for every single one. I'll copy this node group uh, later. Then we need to scale this image and we need to set this relative to the render size, which is just this resolution right here and also make sure to fit it. This just makes sure that the image is in the center of our compositor, because if we don't do this, it's outside of our uh, compositor right here. I think right now this image is actually like in the middle of this entire screen and not like the camera. And yeah, just set this to render size and it will fix it. Uh, we'll put it in the middle right here. The next correction we need to do is just another scale. And then this one can be relative. And this is just going to be one divided by 20. And that 20 is coming from like the pixel size again. So the amount of blocks that we have vertically, that's what we're going to be using as our reference. So yeah, just uh, do one divided by 20, uh, just so you know that this size is like 1 20th and we can stack them on top of each other. All right, so the next thing we need to do is just multiply this uh, with the mask that we're also going to be making right now. So from this pixelate, we can just um, get a greater than, which is a math note. I cannot search for greater than, apparently. I, I knew that. I, I'm saying that like I don't know. All right, so we have eight images here, which means that we need to have eight greater thans uh, as well. And the first one needs to be greater than zero because we're going to be working up from a, like a least bright to brightest just the same way that we did for this dot right here. So anything that's greater than zero, but it should be less than one eighth. And if we multiply this together like this, here we just get all of the pixels that are between zero and 0 0.125 in like intensity. And this is for this uh, dot right here. So that's the mask. So right now we have this skill and then we have the translate. And now we can also add in a translate node to actually toggle them. So we can repeat on both axes. And right here you can see that it's nicely tiling. And then if we just add a new uh, math node, set this to multiply right here, you will see that it only appears in the pixel. And as I said before, in the viewport, it looks a little bit weird. Uh, but if you hit render right now, you will see that it actually looks normal. So yeah, still just a composter thing. We just have to work around that. Click render a few times, or you can just follow my instructions and everything will be good. I can tell you that if we set this to backdrop and then alt home, uh, we can scale this a little bit. We can just preview this image right here and this one. And as you might be able to see, if you look somewhere here, this dot is not centered and that's going to cause us problems in the long run if we're going to be dealing with like uh, bigger symbols like this add symbol we can just substitute it in for right now if we look here uh, it's cut off which is not what we want so we also need to translate it a little bit all right so to do that we need to do some math and the math is actually pretty simple but you have to know what you're doing uh, so yeah for this translate we need to input some value x and some value y and for those values you just need to divide your x resolution and your y resolution by two and then subtract half of the pixel size and that's the offset that you need right here we can put in our x and our y or just flip them around like this and we can divide by two and then we can subtract half of our uh, pixel size so for that we can add in another divide node and what we can do here is just go over to our pixel size node right click copy as new driver and go back to our divide node paste driver here as well well this is just the same value so we can just use this one node nice yes like this and then make sure these are in the bottom ones and yeah that's all good we can now just 
connect these up and these should all be centered right now if you grab the at again yes really nice it's all centered and that is pretty much all of the logic behind this uh, right now we can pretty much just duplicate everything and add them all together which i'll do right now i'll show you the first one and then after that it's pretty much just the same thing so but yeah you can duplicate this whole setup you can um connect these minus to the set alpha then just leave everything be and for the translate we can use the same values right here because they don't really change and then we can set this to multiply make a new mask which we are going to be doing here so duplicate this connect this up again just make sure that this greater than starts at the less than and then goes for two eighths and just do that all the way up to uh, seven eighths because after that just everything that's um seven eighths or up so yeah you don't really need to add more if you have um, more of these uh, pictures right here uh, like nine or ten you can just duplicate this a bunch more times and then just instead of two divided by eight you can do two divided by ten it's the same principle but yeah for now just do this and then we can multiply these together like this we can preview that really nice and then uh, with a new math node we can add these two together if you want to add a color you can do a set alpha node just put it in here make sure this is set to alpha and then also do a alpha over and then put it in the bottom socket then you can set that to black that will be your background color and this color right here will be your foreground color and yeah that's pretty much all you need so yeah you've duplicated this you can duplicate this again you know copy this over that's pretty much it and you can just fill out all of these and then once you're done with that you will end up just with this node setup right here so for my example i just imported like a two by one map of the world so everything where it's black is uh, water everything where it's white is land and then i just put a sun lamp on it and turn on my compositing and when i hit render I get this really nice ASCII result. And yeah, I think this is pretty cool. I really like it. I also made a animated background uh, for this, which you can see right here, which I'm really happy with. Uh, you can also find it on Wallpaper Engine if you're interested in that sort of stuff. Uh, if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description uh, for this Wallpaper Engine uh, background. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the ASCII Art Compositor in Blender. I've wanted to do something like this in Blender for a long time and I finally figured out how to do this. So yeah, if you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.